Good morning, family. Welcome again this morning to our daily devos. Let's give the Lord our devotion today. He's worthy of it. Worthy of it all. I will do what you want me to do. I will say what you want me to say. I will go where you want me to go. Tell them. I will go where you want me to go. I will be what you want me to be. I will be what you want me to be. Yes, I trust you, Lord. Yes, I trust you, Lord. I believe. I believe that your word is true. And I want your will for my life. Yes, I trust. are reading Luke chapter 13 and uh, this is a story where Jesus heals an individual. Uh, She had had this this issue in her life for I believe 18 years and in a moment Jesus is able to heal this situation. It drew a lot of people crazy and they were all like why are you doing this stuff but I want to focus specifically on this woman's situation. In Luke chapter 13 verse 16 it says this, this dear woman a daughter of Abraham has been held in bondage by Satan for 18 years. Isn't it right that she be released even on the Sabbath? I don't want to focus on the Sabbath, but I do want to focus on something else that Jesus says. He says, hey, listen, guys, this issue that this woman has been battling was an issue that was brought upon to her by the devil. You know, I think sometimes in our life when we look at sickness or disease or some of these issues that we just think are normal, you have to know that some of these issues are coming from hell itself. Sickness is not God's plan for your life. Uh, The Bible says that 
that, that, that Jesus came that you would have life and life more abundantly, but that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. If there's stealing in your life right now, if there's killing or destruction taking place, maybe not literal, but just figuratively speaking, things are falling apart in your life, I'm here to tell you that may not be God's plan. It may be the devil's plan. But I love how Jesus dealt with this situation because the Bible says he didn't just sit there and pray some cute prayer. He commanded that spirit of infirmity to leave the lady alone. And the Bible says in that moment, it left her body. She stood up straight and she was healed. Today, let's not talk about how much our back hurts, how much our legs hurt. Let's speak to the situation. Now, I'm not saying that there's every, there's a devil behind every bush that is out there today, but don't treat sickness and coddle it. Speak to that thing. Command it to leave your body. Maybe you've been battling something for years and you've kind of just learned how to go with the flow. Don't just tolerate it. Speak to it. Maybe you got a diagnosis that's brought fear into your life. Instead of going to God and saying, God, I'm just really sick right now. Would you take this away? God's looking at you saying, listen, I've given you authority to speak to that situation and command it to leave. Sickness is not of God. God doesn't put sickness on you to teach you a lesson. Sickness is from the devil. It is not from God. And the Bible says that you have authority to take uh, over sickness. And we can do that, I believe, even in this moment today. Maybe you've been battling something in your life today. I believe that healing is available for you today. I want to pray for you today. And uh, and I think for, for me, what's helped me is when I look at things in my life and I, and I see where the source is from, it kind of irks me a little bit because I would never let someone come into my house, take my TV off my wall and walk outside of it. I would never let some stranger come into my house, grab one of my kids and leave and me saying, I'm so sorry, God help me. No, you're going to step to the plate and you're going to speak to the situation. So let's let the enemy, uh, let, let's, let's, let's stop letting the enemy steal from us the things that belong to us. So I want to pray real quick. God, I just thank you for every person right now that is, is, is in this moment, whether it be this morning or later on or even tomorrow. God, right now, we just take authority over every situation that is not of you. When Jesus died on that cross, he paid the price for sickness and disease. So today we speak to sickness. We speak to disease. And in the name of Jesus, we command you to leave our body now. Cancer, you must go. Diabetes, you must go. Back pain, you must go. You have no hold on the life of the believer. And today we take a stance, we take our authority, our dominion, and we walk in great confidence today. I just declare right now by faith that doctor reports are changing for the better, that a shift is taking place in our physical well-being. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I hope this helped you today. Don't tolerate it anymore. Do what Jesus did. Speak to it. Why? Because it didn't come from God. So you have authority over all the power of the enemy. Have a great day.